And now last night, Carl the Jackal Frampton was crowned IBF Super Bantamweight Champion, beating Spanish defending champion Kiko Martinez in a unanimous points victory. a bit emotional you know it was it's it's been a long time coming it's been a hard road there's been ups and downs when you know at the end of my amateur career I was thinking of maybe hanging the gloves up and stuff when things weren't going right for me and I'm glad I didn't I'm glad for everyone that's ever supported me and uh, I intend to hold on to it for a very long time well Dave McCauley is a former IBF world flyweight champion and joins us this morning Dave that was a classy old fight wasn't it yeah last night was absolutely fantastic it was one of the best uh, performances that, that I've seen in a, in a, in a, in a long time. Like Carl Frampton did exactly what it said on the tin. He went out and he boxed because he fought a very dangerous opponent, a guy who could punch. You know, and when you're fighting a guy who can punch, you have to be very, very, very careful because one punch can take a clean out of the ring. And uh, he did exactly what he was told. He stayed away. He boxed. He, he, he in fought, you know, from time to time. But he just did exactly what he was told and he came out on top. Yeah, he didn't have it all his own way, but you just got the feeling, given that he was in that purpose-built arena to the crowd behind him, that he would edge on no matter what. Yeah, because Martinez is what you call uh, a one-trick pony. He keeps coming forward. And uh, if you fight the, the proper fight, which which means like moving and boxing, like these guys, they're not easy to beat, but it's, it's one of the ways that you can beat them. And... Uh, you know, you don't have to suffer as much damage, and that's exactly what Carl Frumpton did. He just moved in and out, didn't get involved in a brawl, and, uh, you know, stayed out of danger. But it was a tough fight for him. But as uh, we all know in boxing, when you become world champion, everybody wants your title, so it's very hard to hold on to. But I think he's got the credentials, you know, to be to be champion for quite a while. Well, you know that, Dave, don't you? You know what it takes to, to win and defend a world title. Where does he go next? Well... I would think now he'll he'll need time out now because it was a hard fight. Uh, he'll be battered and bruised. He'll be sore, and, and from what I can I, I can uh, make out, I think he's damaged his right hand. He has a mandatory defence to make within ninety days, so that'll be his first fight. But that depends on how quickly the hand heals. But that'll be his, his this. He'll, he'll have to take up his mandatory option, and, uh, and and that fight has to be fought within ninety days. But I'm sure now. With that injury, they, they might give him a, a wee bit more uh, uh, leniency and a wee bit more grace, you know, to let the hand recover properly. But that will be his next course of action, will be and, uh, his number one uh, mandatory defence. Dave, he's, he's spoken an awful lot about wanting to fight against Scott Quigg. Is that the route that he should go down, trying to unify titles already at this stage of his career? Well, I think if they go down that route, that, I think that's a good route because that will get him known throughout the whole UK. Uh, right now, Carl, he's a big name in Northern Ireland. He, he's a big name in Ireland, but I, I, I don't think he, he's a he's a household name yet. You know, in the rest of the UK. So, what I would do would be, I, they're going to have to honour honour this uh, this mandatory defence first, and then after that, there, I would, I would, if it was me, and I want to put Carl from his name on on the map, I would uh, consider uh, like fighting Scott Quick because that's a very, very, very good domestic fight, and that would generate a lot of. Uh, uh, a, a lot of attention. Thanks for your time, Dave. Uh, Dave McCauley, former IBF World Flyweight Champion here on Five Live.